Hello and welcome to another episode of Let's Play with Aspo Witch. We are getting ready to, as I just said uh, in the end of the last episode, step on the Muscovite troops. Now, Bavaria, our faithful ally, is requesting that we come to their aid in the Ulmer conquest of Nürnberg. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. We don't care. Uh, let's take a look at our... Uh, Bavaria reminded us. Let's take a look at our disputed successions. We have Polya, Silesia, Bosnia, and Muscovy. Uh, none of those are going to happen, so let's uh, ignore that for now. And let's keep moving towards uh, this place here. Uh, what do you want? Seed Österbotten? No. Decline. We are not going giving the master button. Master button is ours. Finland is ours. So we have 25. They have a lot of troops there. 34. Maybe I should. Uh, but I'm going to have the defensive terrain as well. So it should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine as well. I, I, I do have the cannons. Uh, I will make me uh, fight from both rows and they don't have that but for now let's huh they are moving into my territory there what to do should I no I should not bait them that way let's take a look at this February 3 and well that would be stupid Let's just get that province back there. Uh, military engineer or defensiveness? Uh, let's go with the defensiveness. Yeah. So we have 29. Oh, we have identical armies here, so that's, uh, that's fine. You just need to Get these provinces back here, get Neva, and we'll be fine. Uh, we are making gains. Eventually we might actually be able to just white piece out in case we want to. Now, 10 troops. I could be stepping on them. Get the offensive. Let's try that. Three points. They have good morale. They have great morale, and they are getting reinforced now. So this might actually not work in my favor. July twenty-first. Come on. Oh, we did win. Sweet. Uh, let's get out of there. No, let's apparently not get out of there. Ah, uh, we did lose that. That sucks. And we will run to Sjælland. Well, that guy will run as well then. Lost the siege of Viborg. Uh, that's uh, no big deal. All such a pissed out. Uh, we did kill a big part of their uh, army though, so that's fine. Jentland is lost. But then again, Yemtland was always a lost cause. Trying to be freaking independent from Sweden. Well, I don't think so. The Republic will stay part of Sweden. So, there we go. We are back on track. Let's. Uh, Let's go on the offensive again. They have 13 troops there. Let's take a look at this army here. 10,000 cannons, 12,000... Yeah, that's, uh, this is a good army. It's a shame about uh, the, the general. They have a 4-4. But the Brits had a 5-5, so we are used to this, I guess. Uh, how's the terrain in Westerbotten? It's mostly plains. Good. Nine troops. They are not far away, though. 
So maybe I should do this. Try to kill the Lapish guys first. Make them walk into Finland. But they're still going into Österbotten. It is a bit... Uh, a bit tricksy, trying to maneuver around it, uh, around these things. We are taking attrition, heavy attrition up here. Supply limit nine. Whoa, that's that's heavy. Well, we do have manpower to spare. Going to Yen they are going for the offensive. Oh my god. Uh, let's uh, build some... How's our economy here? Four loans, we can have up to 100 loans. So let's take a few more and let's raise war taxes. Uh, this is all... Yeah, that's all reinforcements. Uh, so let's actually... Well, that would lose me one cannon. I don't, I don't really want that. But I need to do that. And we need to... Actually, I didn't. Because it's split between mercenaries and regular. So I guess it was fine. Uh, yeah, we need to get some more troops here. Uh, some backup. Let's get a man at arms. Or two. And let's... Uh, let's see them come. So they are going into... Oh, yes. This might be the winner. I have a defensive position. Uh, it's gonna be... Well, I have two maneuvering. They have one. So if I'm lucky, I might be able to pick woods. Or hills. Even better. Uh, or mountains. Still better. And we have a river. River crossing. This has got to be some river crossing. It's three, three, three freaking river crossings plus this one, so that's four. Woods, river crossing, no cannons. Uh, they do have the upper hand with morale and their leader. One, three, and they have a four, four, so there's... Yeah, well, I have an advantage in the shock phase then with the terrain. Uh, they have minus one compared to me, so this should be cake. Cakeness, cakeness, cakeness. Nice. That's that's a battle easily won. Going into Helsingland. They are probably taking the short route here with Orland. So I should stay here. And and yeah, I can't take that route because they have uh, they have blockade here. Stockholm and then Orland. Yeah. So going. Chasing them that way might uh, will be a waste of time. So I'm going to stack these guys up here. I'm going to consolidate this guy here. Uh, thank you. And I'm going to leave behind 2,000 men. Because that's the... No, fort level 1. So I'm going to leave behind 1,000 men. And I'm going to go, go this way. Great. Lost the siege. Uh, we do that a lot. Feels like. Let's uh, take a look at this cardinal here. Uh, are we capped? Almost. We did actually precisely miss our cap. That's nice. All uh, right. Let's uh, let's get these uh, forty-nine-year-old. They'll be picked hopefully. Age is a good factor for who gets picked next. It's a bit random as well, I guess. Uh, so, what do we have here? 1,000 guys. So, if we do leave behind 1,000 guys, uh, but let's leave behind our own troops. Going into Savalax. And let's see here, force level 1 here as well, leaving one guy. How's our... yeah, we, we have plenty of troops. 
And we are losing plenty of money though. And let's... About these though. They are a bit too much. So let's just stand on the Neva for now. Try to capture that. Uh, that's part of our peace deal. How's our truce with England by the way? We need to keep an eye on that. 1495. That's six years until we can step on them again. So that's uh, that's good. We do have something to do in the meanwhile. So Magdeburg. Sure. I'll white piece you. Fine. I'll play ball. So they're going into Ladoga. No, you're not. You're staying there. If they want to go into Ladoga, they have a reason for that. So if I can block them from doing what they want to do, that's uh, that's a win for me. So even though I have no idea what their plan was. Oh, what's that? Muscovite troops in Karelia. They are probably going to step on Österbotten. But they're, uh, they seem to be standing there. There they go. Can I get out there in time? March 4. Yeah, I can. Sweet. So we stay there for now. And yeah, this is. Uh, Patriots, Patriots in Yorkshire. So this is Cord. That's good. Uh, oh, and we need to wait out the nationalism. Shit, I didn't think about that. We should have picked uh, humanist ideas anyway. <laughs> this is going to be one long wait in the end. Uh, getting Lincoln. Well, we're getting an extra merchant. Uh, so let's take a look at that fast. And let's, yeah, let's get it to the Baltic Sea. Transfer. And let's see what these troops are up here to Österbotten. When will they arrive? March 4, so we can wait. And hopefully, there we go. Where are you going? Savalax. So, this guy here is doomed. They will arrive March 23, so 18. So we're fine. Troops are going to survive. Oh, they're not. <laughs> this guy is dead. Uh, March 29. No. So let's just do this. I'm not gonna give them war score. Well, I guess I could have uh, could have dared them by going into Kexol with my big army, but uh, too late. <laughs> they thought of it too late. Now they have 30,000 troops there, so that's uh, not working in my favor. How's this province looking? It's plains. Some woods, mostly plains, so yeah. This might actually not work out my way. Minus 50. Yeah. But we can do nothing else but wait. Uh, so let's do that. They're going into Nieland anyway. They're turning around into Viborg. I don't think they know what they want to do. They are going for me. So, question here is, uh, do I build reinforcements or not? Do I build reinforcements over here or not? Will they make it in time? Well, it's that thing about their tech. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's build Galilee. Like that. So they have the pip advantage, I have the cannon advantage. They do have full combat width though, I don't. But I will be fine because cannons. Cannons, god damn it. Well, now I've got cannons in prawn, so that's not good. So I guess not. Crap! I thought I was fine when they uh, when they broke there, but they didn't break enough. Oh well, I'll be back. Let's take a look at the Muscovite army, by the way. 
Uh, they have 10,000 manpower, 22,000 troops. I've got uh, roughly the same. More manpower though. And I've got loads of money for mercenaries, so I've got that. I only got 18,000 troops though. Well, that'll be fine. This guy here is. I'll kill him. Well, that's it. So this war that I started uh, as a as a diversion, it's um, it's turning out to be quite a headache because I don't want to lose a vassal or a, an, an annexed vassal just because. Yeah, just because that would be no good. So maybe I should try to build some regular troops instead of mercenaries now just to get my uh, my costs down how's that looking minus three that's reinforcements 10.98 I hate reinforcements well it's gonna be costly but it's gonna have to be that way and yeah let's accept your demands sure thing and that would probably mean I can integrate them now right 12% not really not gonna do it now I have to stick with that because they're gonna be an there's gonna be another uprising until I can get my army over there so maybe I should get down to Memel but I can't really get past this here I'd have to move through I guess I could move through, not through the Hansa. Uh, yeah, I'm having some trouble here. Vibog, Österbotten, and Nyland. Uh, pronouncing that like in German or something. Vibog, Nyland, and Österbotten. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We need to get our troops up here. We have a lot of cavalry. That's uh, in their favor, I guess. Tech six. Well, how's that reinforcement? Minus 5.8. Why are the reinforcement taking so long? Oh well, we'll be fine. We are always fine. Uh, as long as you don't give in, the war is not over. There's always a way back. Well, not always. But if uh, if it's not uh, entirely fucked up, there's mm, most often a way back. So, we are paying a lot of money for reinforcements now, or mercenaries as well. So, oh, war taxes dropped. Let's pay for them again. And yeah, so as long as the reinforcements pass away, then we'll be in the green with these troops here. So let's uh, let's see about the Hansa. No, not in a million years. And I don't dare use my transports. Well, maybe into Brandenburg. Maybe, just maybe, that will be quick enough. Let's go down there. Let's go to. Let's go to Fien. Or actually, let's go to Lolland. Lolland and my boats go to Lolland. This is gonna be a quick maneuver, and hopefully, I'll be able to snipe Memo. Uh, just to decrease their war score by boat boat load 25 and maybe with that I can white piece them or something uh, so yeah let's get access first there we go thank you actually let's get uh, fleet basing rights as well I guess I can't. 
they won't give me neutral attitude. Well, I guess I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way then. Thank you. I'm just worried about those um, Muscovite chips over there. They are in. They are on the way. So yeah, I should be careful. They are moving into. They are not moving. Western Baltic Sea. Yeah, they are coming my way now. So hide your kids and hide your wife. Trying to snatch all that people up. S trying to stab my boats in the back. But I think I'll make it in time. Yeah, they're for some reason they're for some reason they are sieging uh blockading Gotland and Ostergotland. So uh let's see. We have already got uh, treaties with Poland, so it won't cost us anything extra to get access. Uh, Muscovy, on the other hand, will probably not, not get access. Well, he will get access through the Livonian order, right? And through Lithuania, apparently. They don't care about each other. Alright, Poland wants to marry me. Yeah, sure, let's do that. How's our uh, effort with getting getting a guy on the throne going here? Uh, Denmark, eight percent, five. Yeah, this is just a waste, I guess. But we'll keep him there for now. Getting a lot of attrition in here. Lost a dude. Let's uh, let's get that inflation reduction. Well, maybe I should get that revolt risk because that would mean I could core this place here. Oh, decisions, decisions. Well, I've got 5.9, so I might as well get the inflation reduction uh, to get some inflation down. Uh, thank you. And we are getting memo. That's 25 war score going our direction. Yeah, that free stability uh, is better than a level 2 artist. And uh, we have an heir, a new king. Our uh, regency is over. So that's great. Age 15. We have a lot of influence as well here. So let's, uh, let's get that uh, papacy under control. So France died. Let's... Uh, remarry France then. They have no heir, so let's definitely do that. Level level 27? He's 27 years old. Get to, I need to get my uh, my uh, terminology straight. Age does not equal level. So what do you want? Österbott and Viborg, Nyland? No. I will never give you territory. Never. 29,000. How's your Muscovy? Well, they have 30,000 plus 10,000 manpower, so they do have a lot. But I will have Memel, and I will sit on it until it's worth 25, man, uh, 25 war score. Probably I won't. I will probably uh, get access through Lithuania and walk into Muscovy and do a little dance over here. Maybe I'll put myself on top of Moscow. Moscow, where's Moscow? Uh, there's Moscow. Uh, that will decrease their uh, war enthusiasm. There we go. Minus 30. We are making gains. So we are at minus 26 now. So what happens if I stand on Moscow? Uh, we need access first. Please. Thank you. Moscow. I'm going to stand on you. Uh, we can uh, actually cancel that access. We don't need it anymore. Pay for the Lithuanian instead. <sighs> 
well, we aren't paying because we're not above our limit. So our uh, army here taking loans because we're taking losses, but it's for the greater good. So what this will give us is, if we manage to siege this town, uh, will give us the war score for controlling Moscow. And it will also remove the malice for Moscow beholds Moscow. Or Moscow beholds Moskva. Uh, minus five. So that might make a difference. And it's going to increase their war exhaustion. Uh, ooh, diplomat. 261. Well, it's decent. Seeing as we have trade ideas, it's going to be useful for getting that uh, those ideas filled out. What, uh, what kind of... Uh so they are fabricating claims. Good for them. What kind of are we looking here? Uh, ideas here. Naval tradition tax modifier. That's at least something. A lot of navels here. Uh, naval, 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 naval. I am not a naval player, to be honest. But we'll be fine. Uh, minus 29. So we are making gains. Uh, we are getting ticking war score from Mimmel. So that's great. And we are. Are we getting a lot of. Yeah, severe, severe winter. But it's over soon. Mm. Look at that. 23 for reinforcements. <laughs> Paying a lot for mercenaries as well. Uh. Olm wants to piece me out here. Uh, how's it going for Bavaria? Not good, I guess. Uh, Switzerland is piecing them out, so yeah, but we'll let them. We'll let them have their fun. I'm not in a rush to get out of that war. Uh, let's see, eleven loans, and we can have eighty-one. So we are fine for now, although this is really tanking our income here, this uh, reinforcements. That winter is costly, so maybe we should just do that, see what that, uh, what that does to our income, minus 11. We lost the siege of Finland, uh, well they are about to lose the siege of Moscow, and that's gonna be worth more, at least that's gonna be worth a lot more least I don't know what I'm saying I'm just uh, uh, pronouncing words and uh, throwing them out my mouth uh, just to avoid silence it feels like that at least so Ulm still wants to piece me out here uh, not gonna happen see to Moscow so we are at minus 13 now so we are very close to being able to uh, concede defeat out of this war. But let's go to Neva. Actually, let's take a look at this. Let's uh, split up when we go to Neva because we want to avoid the attrition as much as possible. So when he's there, let's go to Neva. There we go. We've got Moscow. Uh, they are going into Neva, so we are facing some. Uh, resistance here well we'll be fine I think uh, we have Memel we have Moskva and we will take Neva should look at this by the way these garrisons here and see if there's anything we could no the garrisons are stable so is this gonna work out I don't know no, I think not. Well, I do have the the numbers. I lose prestige. But still, that painful running away from his freaking troops. Thank you. I made it. So he's... I wonder where he's going to run. Well, I should be at minus 5 now, so I could just... Uh, this war will never be in my favor, uh, but it will be close enough for me to concede defeat. So I'm gonna do that now, just to get out of this. 
thank you. Cost me 10 prestige, but it's gonna be worth it. So there we go. Never give up. Uh, let's just get rid of these mercenaries though, uh, because they're costing me an arm and a leg. And I don't want to pay for those. I only got two arms and two legs. And I want to keep them. I want to... I want to keep it that way at least. Uh, let's see about that ID there. Uh, we can get land leader fire, but maybe we should actually, yeah, we should be waiting for this here. So if I had not been uh, getting, sorry, more taxes, I should have uh, had the tech by now, I guess. But uh, yeah, that's the way it is. So I'm gonna try to get my troops over here to Yorkshire, step, uh, stand them uh, there, and uh, start coring. So Saint Clair's Monastery. Ah, King John the First and Queen Christina founded the Saint Clair's Saint Clair's Monastery in Copenhagen in 1497 with a gift of the former Royal Vegetable Gardens in an area uh, known as Rosengård. The Queen made a donation of 50, 40 Rhenish guilders for construction of the monastery in 1498. Seven years later, in uh, August 11, 1505, the monastery was completed and consecrated. The monastery consisted of a dormitory, refectory, church, infirmary, cellars and places for lay sisters and a priest to stay. So, five influence for being Norway, for being Denmark. My nose is itchy. So we can get yet, an yet another cardinal under our influence. Let's do that. Uh, there we go. And let's look at that tech. Uh, admin tech. We are going to use this admin tech to core uh, for now. So we are not going to get this. Ooh, just about now. So yeah. No idea and no tech. I'm looking at scoring Yorkshire and getting the next military tech uh, because England is tech 8 and tech 7. So I need to get with the program. Maybe I should just peace out. Yeah, let's do that. Sorry, Bavaria. Uh, well, I don't want to be at war anymore. I need to get my war exhaustion down. Being at war prevents that from happening. So, where's my troops, by the way? They are. Walking home through exile. While they're walking through your territories now, Hansa. What, what do you say about that? Uh, actually, about that. Cancel that with Lithuania. So, what's the timer at, by the way? Timer is at 32 minutes, so we should end this episode. And I'll do that by saying thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to click the like button if you like the episode. Uh, if you didn't like it, be sure to click the dislike button. And uh, please don't do that. That's just rude. And uh, subscribe to my channel. And uh, if you want to get more episode, it's, uh, episodes. If you don't want to, want to get more episodes, then don't subscribe. Uh, and yeah, drop a comment if you have something to say. Uh, I'll listen and I'll uh, take into take it into account and I'll give you an answer, whatever it is and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode where we will probably kill some more English people but for now so long